Not only are Disney and Lucasfilm currently focused on Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, two live action TV series, as well as the new Star Wars trilogy, also known as the fourth trilogy, by the creators of Game of Thrones, David Benioff and D.B. Weiss. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, one thing about this film that a lot of people are really looking forward to is, of course, exactly how David Benioff and D.B. Weiss are really going to kickstart the new trilogy. Now, the first film of the fourth trilogy is, of course, dubbed as Star Wars X, also known as Star Wars Episode X. By the way, that's just a code name for the first film as of right now that Kathleen Kennedy, Disney, and Lucasfilm are putting together with David Benioff and D.B. Weiss. Now, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more, uh, not just about the rise of Skywalker, but also about the future of the Star Wars franchise. And what's really exciting about this new trilogy is that a lot of people are just really hoping that it really is going to be something incredible that's going to blow fans away. Now, what's really intriguing is that it's a scar that the first film of the new trilogy by the creators of Game of Thrones, dubbed as Star Wars X, is said to mainly focus on bringing in popular Legends characters that will be brought into the Disney canon. Canon. It's described that David Benioff and D.B. Weiss are researching many pieces of Legend material that will be inserted into the film and that a summit with Kathleen Kennedy is said to take place this May to finalize the storyline and begin the script. It's said that Star Wars X went through some story changes at Disney and Lucasfilm as they are looking to lightly connect the film to the Skywalker saga. It's described that they will be searching for a director for the first film this summer and that Disney and Lucasfilm will only be using an experienced director and well-known one at that. Additionally, it's said that Disney has plans to reveal new details about this project and other films at San Diego Comic-Con and mainly over at D23 this August. The first film of the new trilogy is said to have the highest budget and be the highest Star Wars film that has the highest budget and that the film's script is set to begin this summer where they are now aiming to begin filming, filming in 2020. So, I really want to go over a couple of parts about this. Now, first things first, the fact that David Benioff and D.B. Weiss are incorporating a lot of popular Legends characters into the first film of this new trilogy, also known as Star Wars X, I believe lines directly up with the big reports that we heard about a couple of weeks ago about this new trilogy being based within the Old Republic. Now, in case you guys did not know, uh, we actually heard a couple of weeks ago this was big, a lot of people were talking about this, that Disney and Lucasfilm would be changing one big thing about the Old Republic storyline in, of course, the future of this franchise, that it would be based hundreds of years before the prequel trilogy as opposed to thousands, like how it was in the Legends material slash expanded universe. So with that being said, the fact that we have David Benioff and D.B. Weiss on board with this project, they are going to begin writing the script this summer because some script changes and some story changes were made in order to loosely and lightly connect this movie to the Skywalker saga. So what I like so much about this, and I will say this right now, is that this new trilogy really seems like it is going to be catered to the hardcore fans. You know, you can already tell that they are really trying to make something very Jedi and Sith oriented, in which they are, by the way, this whole entire trilogy is going to be based within the mythology that we are all used to, you know, centered on Jedi and Sith. It's just all a matter of how Disney wants to handle, you know, their vision of the Old Republic or whatever era they choose to do. It's most likely going to be at some point in time in 2021, most likely in May or December of that year, which honestly, guys not that bad you know i think that we all saw this from a mile away that you know they would kind of have a little get bit of a gap in between episode 9 and this new star wars trilogy which honestly i think is good and the fact that they have a plan in place in order to really have the entire trilogy planned out from the very beginning it's one of the big reasons as to why they are taking a little time off is because they want to get the whole entire trilogy set straight right from the get-go. This way they don't have to pretty much come up with different ideas and come up with things on the fly as they are writing the scripts of these three movies, where, of course, it will loosely tie into the Skywalker saga. Now, the other thing that I do want to go over is that we will be learning more about this project and other projects related to the Star Wars franchise at San Diego Comic-Con, and especially over at D23 this August. D23 is going to be the big one where we do learn a lot more about what Disney has planned for the Star Wars franchise, especially Star Wars X, so I could not be more excited 
to see exactly, you know, what David Benioff and D.B. Weiss have in store. They are just ending, you know, their entire ride with Game of Thrones. They're almost done with that. And once they are completely done, you know, that's when they will be pretty much, you know, fully dedicated to Star Wars from that point forward. Guys, I gotta say, it's very exciting to see exactly where the franchise is going after Episode 9. But like I say, the future of this franchise really does depend on the success of Episode 9 without a doubt. You know, we all saw what happened with Solo A Star Wars Story and how they literally deleted, you know, 10 Star Wars films that were planned throughout the 2020s. And they literally just disregarded those movies and they are now rewriting and coming up with new ideas for the next 10 years. Anyways guys, drop a comment below, let me know what you think about all of this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.